Hi everybody, welcome to This World World. We have a whole bunch of really interesting uh, travel YouTubers around us today. People name, may know me from This World World. <laughs> And uh, we have these two guys. Guys, why don't you introduce yourselves? I'm Darren or Zoggy from iZog Adventure. Our idea on our channel is that we encourage people to get out more, explore the world around you, and kind of just, yeah, see what's out there. There's so much more out there for everyone to see and do. My name is Lee, uh, channel name Lee Explores, but I basically try and do like, travel and abandoned places. I think a core idea of all our channels is that we want to just share the world and make it more interesting for people, right? Absolutely. The way I started was because I just got frustrated with some of the travel videos and I just want to document it and just, just show more of the world. I mean, my ultimate aim is to go to 196 countries, um, up to 56 or 57 at the moment. Oh, wow. So, cool. going Fantastic. through, it's, I think it's a life goal, it's going to take me about 20, 30 odd years, but I want to go, go to different places, like uh, my last big trip was going from, along the Silk Road to back to London. London to Beijing on trains only, and just want to generally have those type of adventures and that share of the world. I started vlogging in January, and I literally started off and didn't have any idea what I was doing. Never edited a video before really, and just wanted to kind of like experience and grow my own confidence as well. Get out there more and share that experience um, to start off with, with friends, because I would always go out and do things at weekends. and friends would be like, oh, where have you been? Oh, that sounds really good. And, and you know, what was it like? And start asking me things. And I think, well, actually, why don't I just film myself while I'm there? And then people, if they're interested, they can then watch that afterwards. And, you know, it's all about trying to get out there and encourage people to find new places to see and do. There's so, much pe so many places on people's doorsteps that they don't actually realize it all that close. I come from a background that isn't quite wealthy and we only used to go to sort of escape nests in the caravan, you know, that sort of stuff. And my idea was to show people the world um, who maybe don't have the opportunity to go out there and experience these different places um, and just capture, just capture it so they can view it at home without having to go out. And then if they do eventually get enough money to go to these places, then they've got the knowledge or they know roughly what it's like and the culture and mm. they know what to expect. I have quite a few inspiring creators already who I, I try to amalgamate into my channel in some ways more than others and one of them is Casey Neistat. I try to almost mimic how he does his vlog so I do like the time lapse at the beginning, I do the little teaser at the beginning as well and some of the structure you'll see is very similar to how he does it. And another one would be um, Fun Fluey, great in inspirational creator as well. Um, I love just watching all the places that he goes to, exploring with Josh because he does a lot of abandoned buildings and that's something I'm into as well. Um, I think he's top of the game at the moment with that sort of content. Inspirational people to myself, obviously, everyone watches. Casey Neistat videos, I think, from Shondoros, you know, best day ever guy. And that's kind of like what I try and do when I actually go out. I want to try and have that kind of like motivation to kind of like have a really good day out. The indie projects, um, and they're very much into the van lifestyle, so they're going out and around. That's kind of like something that I think is actually really inspiring to do. Um, just to be able to, you know, get out on the road and not have to worry about too much about where you're you know, paying for hotels, things like that. It's you know, having your setup in a van. I got inspired by certain YouTubers who kind of made me realise you can actually, when you document travel videos, you can make it slightly cinematic. And then there's this one guy who really inspired me, it's Brandon Lee. He's basically, a, he started doing reality TV and then he became, he's been doing these short films whilst he's travelling. Okay. Absolutely, Sounds Brandon good. is really, really good. And then there's also uh, David Bean here. He's He's been YouTubing for the past almost a decade. He's wow. not as, as well known. I and he's just he, he's doing the type of videos I like to do where it's quite informative, mm. part interesting stories, and he's just pretty good at uh, presenting. Yeah. And then on top of that, one of my favourite YouTubers at the moment is uh, Nora Adventurism. For the last 14 months, I rode from Amsterdam to Bali alone. I'm king of the road. I am king of the road. 
I had gotten my motorcycle license a year before, but I'd never left the Netherlands on my bike. I'd never ridden off-road on my bike. Music is my money and my story will be told. The life is like the sound that makes us all together bound. Let it out, let it hear, let it sing. Oh, wow. That's pretty inspiring. That is impressive. Isn't yeah, it? that is pretty inspiring, to be honest. That's a long way to go. Uh, yeah, and the, How do you even start planning to fly out? Well, well, this thing, that's the thing. Ah, ah, there's a documentary about that. Is there? <laughs> yeah, I should. Link in the description below. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good segue. And um, she's actually not only did the adventure, she vlogged it pretty much most of the way. So she definitely, definitely check out her YouTube channel. Since I've just started in February, um, I've been learning this whole process, like most YouTubers, starting from scratch, but solo. Next 12 months, I want to just be better and quicker about doing videos and actually find out what gels with me in my own channel because it's, it's really hard when you first start out and you think, oh, I've got these ideas for different videos mm. and I'm, I'm just con constantly conflicted what's the next video I want to do. It'd be nice to settle down to some something that's me that I know that, oh, this is how I do it really well. Most, yeah. most people in the world do travel vlogs. I have nothing against that. I like to do more informative pieces because I'm not very good at talking on the fly at times. It's more like a documentary around. and yeah, that's how exactly. Yeah. For the next 12 months, um, ideally I want to create more travel videos and a lot of abandoned videos because at the moment it's just mainly um, travel videos mm. and I want to obviously get more involved in the abandoned community. And I'd also like to go to places like Chernobyl on the subscriber side of things. Um, I'd like to make enough obviously to go into the YouTube space. What we've got planned is that we're going to pretty much convert a van and go touring around the UK and maybe out into Europe. There's so many places to explore in the UK. So when I say that, it's obviously all probably quite a lot around the coast, um, all the way up around Scotland. There's the section called the NC500 up in Scotland. It's quite picturesque to kind of go and see. I um, want to try and go over to Ireland as well. And then from there, depending on how things are going, where we're at with the channel, we'd really like to then go out to Europe um, and yeah, see where we go from there. I think as a, maybe a tip and a message is even if you can't afford to go on holiday to maybe Greece or to Australia, just look around your local area. Like Darren said, there's many places in England. Just go out, have a walk, you know, you never know what you're going to see. You might go to the local woods um, or you might find there's some caves that are near you on the cliffs. Um, just just go, just get out there and uh, visit anywhere. It's, it's great and it's kind of like, um, I mean, if you own a dog or anything else like that, you kind of go out walking with the dog and instead of doing the normal walk around the block, you might want to just, you know, take a slightly different, slightly different detour. Um, I went out with my brother um, a few months ago and we came across this old abandoned water mill. And it was literally derelict, there was, the whole water mill was still in there. And it's just fantastic to just see these places. Um, and yeah, my message would be to just get up off the sofa and go out and see what's out there. One of the reasons why I started travelling is because I never really understood what was out there. I lived in London for such a long time. When I leave London, I forget how just lovely people are outside of London. <laughs> you know, People are always rushing around London and it's the same when you go to a different country. Yeah. Basically, yeah. my message is to if you go outside your initial, I hate to say the word, comfort zone. Yeah. But if you go outside your initial comfort zone, the outside world really isn't that scary. Yeah. You go outside, outside England, oh my totally gosh. Totally agree. Everybody in the, in the world, we're, we're all very similar. We're all just trying to get by. And sure, there are a couple of like you know, bad apples in the pot. But just go out and explore it. You never know, you might have a YouTube channel. <laughs> well, guys, um, that was our little get together. Uh, some in the city. I hope you enjoyed that. It'll give you, it's, it's just been really nice meeting some other travel YouTubers it's been face great. to face. Yeah, no, it's been great. Good old chin wag. Um, I recommend coming to some in the city. You should definitely check, check out these guys' YouTube channel. Hit the comments if you like this type of thing. Give me some feedback. Hit the like button. Subscribe. 